I'm the Director of Development with the Ladies European Tour. Uh, what the Ladies European Tour is, is trying to do through its development department is support uh, the growth of golf for women and girls. And that could be in terms of beginners and uh, new players coming to, into the sport, but also in terms of supporting talented players who want to progress through to the higher ranks of play and, and uh, perhaps make a career as a tournament professional. So what we try to do is we talk to the promoters where we have events and talk to the national federations in the countries that we visit uh, and just see what it is that we can do to add value to the development programs for the, for the different countries. Um, it may be that we can use our events as a platform or a, or a high profile uh, opportunity. Um, it may be that we can use our players to support some activity that's being run. Uh, so that, that's the sort of thing we're trying to do as an organisation. In terms of the Asian region, we've obviously seen a huge growth in the number of talented young players coming through. Um, clearly there's a lot of great work going on through the national federations in terms of their talent identification and performance development programs. Uh, so it's great to see the, the growth of, of talented players in the region. Um, specifically in terms of Bangladesh, we haven't really seen uh, a, a top player emerge just yet. Uh, but having seen what's happened with other players uh, from, from across India, uh, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we see uh, top level players emerging from, from that area as well. So uh, we're working hard to try and uh, promote women and girls golf uh, across the world. Uh, we think we, we've got a, a role to play in terms of supporting what's going on at the moment. So we're looking forward to carrying on that work and, and seeing more and more talented young players uh, reach the, uh, the top level of the sport playing on the Ladies European Tour. Uh, in terms of generating the professionals of the future, I think it's really important to have a, a number of things in place. One is in terms of the, the actual uh, uh, the beginnings, uh, working with schools and, and encouraging girls through uh, schools at a young age uh, to get an interest in the first place and then to create the connection between that activity and the, and the golf club programme so that the girls can progress their way through to the golf clubs uh, and then hopefully experience regular coaching and uh, regular play. Uh, that would introduce them to then a competitive element, playing against others with, a, with an interest in the sport. Um, and then it's really about the, the, the efforts that are made in encouraging the youngsters to continue with their practice. It's very hard work to get to the top level, so practice is very important and encouragement to practice is important. Um, so the role of the professionals and the, and the, and the helpers and the parents uh, in encouraging is good. Uh, and uh, competitive opportunities is, is another important part of the mix to make sure that there's a, a chance to put what's learned uh, on the practice ground actually into a, a competitive environment. Um, and, and really then it boils down to hard work, um, constant practice, uh, focus and dedication. Those are the sorts of things that are needed to reach the top levels. In terms of where the Ladies European Tour is in, in India at the moment, we've obviously got the, uh, the Hero Indian Ladies Open. A uh, very successful event and we're very pleased with the, the venue and the sponsors. Uh, that's one event in the country at the moment. We would hope, uh, I guess, as the sport grows and more women and girls become attracted to the sport, then we'd see more events being established. Uh, India's a big country and I, I'm sure there's scope for having uh, other events uh, in different parts of, uh, of India. I'd just like to say to all those involved in golf in Bangladesh, I think there's some fantastic opportunities to, uh, to grow the sport. And I think uh, all those at the Golf House magazine and, and everyone involved in that area, uh, by pulling together and all working together, focused on, uh, on growing the sport, I'm sure you'll achieve some great results.